good evening. It's another lovely one. <laughs> okay, so I'm Jen. If you haven't done any uh, sessions either physically um, in the studio with me or whether it's been online in the last few weeks, uh, so I'm going to take you through a freestyle fitness yoga session. So we will start off with some mobility, then we'll do some sun salutations, and then we'll move on to some strength, maybe a little bit of flexibility, whatever we can squeeze in. Um, I won't do any relaxation at the end, but if it is something that you would like to do in your sessions, then do just have a little comment uh, below and I will add it in for us uh, next week if that's something that you'd like to do. So as ever, if there's any moves that you can't do, um, then just improvise if you need to, if you're struggling. Um, I think I might struggle today, I've not done yoga for about nine weeks now. <laughs> um, so hopefully I remember what I'm doing, I'm sure I will. It'll all come flooding back once we get going. Okay, so um, we will start off with some mobility from the top of the body, working our way down. So we're just going to stand with our legs together, feet together, and we're standing in a good posture so we've got our shoulders uh, back and down and we're looking straight ahead. So we're going to start with the shoulders and we're just going to take some shoulder rolls. So as we breathe in yoga, we breathe in through the nose and we also breathe out through the nose. So we're just uh, mobilising the joints, keeping that good strong stance with the feet and the legs together. Okay, we're going to change direction of those circles now. Okay, so we're going to increase our range. So we're going to go the opposite way, but we're going to make those arm circles extending that range of movement. Excellent, and then we're going to do a few in the opposite direction. to the spine now, we're just going to do some spinal rotations, so just let the arms be really free and loose, try and keep that movement through the spine as much as you can, you might find your hips move a little bit, but try not to let them move too much, so again focus on breathing, in through the nose, out through the nose. So now, last mobility exercise, we're going to breathe in, stretch our arms up to the ceiling, and then as we exhale, we roll through the spine, inhale, as we stretch back up, exhale, and inhale. If you want to challenge yourself a little more, then you can raise one foot off the floor. If you feel a bit unsteady, then you can just bring it back down to having both feet flat on the floor. So then we exhale, inhale. And one last one. Excellent, well done. Okay, so we're going to move into some sun salutations now. So you're probably feeling quite warm, it's, it's very warm, but if 
you're not that warm yet, then these will um, definitely warm you up. So we, we come to the front of the mat. Chop my head off there, but never mind. We take an inhale breath. We take our hands up and together, and then we exhale, we fold forwards. By the way, if you want to watch the first one, you can do. We then inhale, we extend through the spine with the hands on the shins. We then exhale, hands to the floor, step your right leg back, then your left leg, knees to the floor for the easier option, and we bend the elbows. Then we inhale, we bring the chest forward and up, and then we exhale, we come up onto the toes into a down dog. Inhale, lift your left foot and step it through in between the hands. If you need to use your hand for support or to just assist you, you can do. And then exhale as you slide the back foot in, allowing the head to rest down. And then inhale. Exhale. I was going to step back a little bit. I've just got a lampshade right above me. <laughs> Inhale. And we start the sequence again. We then exhale. We fold forwards. Inhale. Hands to the shins. Get that lovely extension through the spine. Exhale. Hands to the floor. This time your left leg steps back. Followed by the right. Option for more intensity. You'll keep your knees off the floor as you bend the elbows to lower the body towards the floor. And then you inhale, and you come up with the hips off the floor. Exhale, stepping back onto those toes. Inhale. So this time we lift the right foot, bend the knee. Big step forward between the hands. Slide the back foot in. Exhale, release the crown of the head down. So the feet come together and then you inhale and exhale. So we're going to start again on the other side. So we inhale, we exhale, we fold forwards. Inhale, hands to shins, extend through the spine. Exhale, hands to floor, right leg back, left leg back. Knees down if you need to or keep them up if you don't and then we slowly bend those elbows. Inhale. And exhale. So we press those thighs back, we push the hips up. Inhale, lift your left foot. Strike it through. Again, if it doesn't quite make it in between the hands, use your hand to just readjust if you need to. And then we exhale, head relaxes down. Inhale, and exhale, we're going again on the left, inhale, and exhale, fold forwards, inhale, hands to shins, so really extend through that spine, exhale, hands to floor, left steps back, right foot, knees to floor if you need to, slowly lower yourself down. Inhale and exhale. Oh, these feel so good. Inhale, lift your right foot, step it forwards, slide it in, relax the head down. Inhale and exhale. Step back a little bit again. Inhale. Inhale, extend through the spine. Well done. Exhale, hands to floor. Left foot steps back. Right foot steps back. Slowly lower. Inhale. And exhale. So press those hips right back. Feel that lovely stretch down the back of the body. Lift your right foot as you inhale. Slide the back foot in. Exhale. Head relaxes down. 
relaxes down. Inhale. And exhale. So we're going to do one more on each side and then we're done with our salutations. So we inhale. You can extend back if your back's feeling good. And then exhale, fold forwards. Inhale, hands to shins for that lovely back extension. Exhale, hands to floor, right foot back, left foot back. Elbows bend, slowly come down. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale as your left foot lifts up, step it through. Slide that back foot in and relax the head down. Inhale and exhale. So one last time on the left side. Inhale and exhale, fold forwards. Inhale into that back extension. Exhale, hands to the floor, step back, left leg, followed by the right. Bend those elbows, slowly come on down. Inhale, and exhale, back into down dog. Inhale, lift your right foot. Exhale, step forwards, slide the foot in, exhale, just allow the head to relax, and then inhale, and exhale, well done everyone, okay so that's our sun salutations done, I'm just going to have a quick drink, worked up quite a thirst there, Okay, so we're lovely and warm now, so we're going to move on to some strength work. So bear in mind, whenever we do yoga, we do all look different. So it may be that you don't look like you're in exactly the same position as me. We're all different flexibility wise and strength wise, so do take that into account. If you need to come out of any of the poses before um, I actually cue you to, then that's all, for, all fine. Just listen to what your body is telling you. Okay, so first things first, we're going to come into a squat position. So we've got our feet together and the legs together as well. And then what we're going to do is just come down into a squat position. So we're taking the arms forward, just keep as relaxed as you can through the shoulder girdle. So you can stay there. I'm just going to turn side on just so that you can see you should be sitting your hips back so that your knees are not going beyond your toes so keep your knees either just above your toes or towards you rather than past your toes if that makes sense so if any of you do want to work a little harder you can lift your heels off the floor so that's going to work on your balance as well as your strength so we're developing strength and tone in the legs So after a little while, we will experience some shaking. If the heels off the floor is too advanced for you, bring your heels back down. Okay, so we're all going to bring our heels down now, and then we're going to come up out of the squat. We're taking the right leg back, and slightly to the right as well, so that what we need to make sure is that the foot isn't directly behind the one on the front leg, okay? So we have our foot about 45 degrees. We have our hips facing forwards. We just raise our arms up and we come into like a squat position. So you're pressing into your back foot. You're also pressing that front knee out slightly, just in line with your second and third toes so the knee isn't collapsing in. So we just want to make sure that we're activating everything. Okay, so like I said, if you struggle with any of these poses, you can come out any time you need to. What we're aiming for is to get this front thigh parallel to the floor. That might be tonight's goal, or it might be a goal that you decide 
is going to take you a little amount of time, a few sessions. Okay, so what we're going to do now, if you can, I want you to breathe in. As you breathe out, I want you to see if you can sit a little lower into that squat. So you bring in the thigh a little bit closer to the floor. Again, the shoulders are relaxed. Keep pressing into your back foot. Okay, so now we're going to straighten the front leg. We're going to come into a back and neck extension. So your option, if you're just taking it a little bit easier, is just to take your hands behind you and just grab your elbows. We just ease our weight back and we just look towards the ceiling. As a progression, you can bring the hands up, the fingertips towards the ceiling, and then you can bring your weight even further back. So you'll feel this down this side of your back. Both of your legs are straight, both of your feet are firmly pressed into the floor. Okay, well done. So now we just relax the arms, just bring ourselves out of that back. And then we lift the back heel up off the floor and just rotate the leg in so the knees pointing down to the floor. So your first option, the least intense option, is just to bring that knee down to the floor, bring your hands inside your foot. For the progression, you'll keep that back knee off the floor and you'll keep pressing your heel down towards the floor. This knee, we're still trying to push it out. So we're pressing that heel, back heel down, feeling the stretch into the leg. You can either stay there or if you've got your knee on the floor, that's fine. Or you can add a twist. If you've got your knee on the floor, you can still add the twist if you want to. Okay, but if you're finding that the twist, adding that in is too much for you, then either just come back to this position or the position with the knee off the floor. So keep driving that back heel towards the floor, feel that stretch into the quads of that back leg. Okay, so now we're going to bring that hand down, place it inside of the foot. Now you'll be a little bit less stable as we do it on this side. So if you feel a little bit wibbly wobbly and you just want the security of bringing this hand back down, then that's absolutely fine. Do what you can. So we're getting that lovely rotation through the spine. Okay, we're going to bring that hand down now, your right hand. Then we're going to place the left hand outside of the leg and we're going to come back into down dog. Now press your hands into the floor, spread your fingertips, push your heels towards the floor and push your hips up. So you're trying to take your hamstrings as far back as you can. stretch right down the back of the body. Okay, we're bringing our knees to the floor. We're just going to sit back into child's pose. Well done. So it probably hasn't escaped your notice that we did all that on one side. Therefore, we get to do it all again on the other side. Okay, so from here, we're going to just bring ourselves into down dog. Just lift one foot, doesn't matter which one. Step it forwards, 
slide your back foot in and then slowly bring yourselves back up. Okay, so as mentioned, we're going to do that on the other side now. So we're bringing our feet together, we're coming into our squat position. So you will sit as low as you feel you can go. Again, just keep the shoulders relaxed. If you can get your arms up high, great. I can't do that without actually kind of scrunching my shoulders up near my ears. And we just want to, again, just avoid that tension in the shoulders. Just be really soft through to the fingertips. Option. Heels up. Nice job, well done. We're going to bring the heels down, back to standing position. So this time you step the left foot back. Again, make sure it's not directly behind your front leg and we turn the hips forward. And then when you're ready, you're going to come into that warrior one position. So you're pressing that knee out, pushing into your back foot chest is lifted. Good. Take a breath in. Like when we did the other side on the out breath. Coming down a little bit further if you can. Driving that knee out slightly, doing good. Okay, we're straightening that front leg now. So you can either extend back with the arms up, or you could clasp the hands if you wanted to, or grab your elbows. So this way, you're just taking a little stretch into the chest and the front of the shoulders, and just taking some of the intensity away from your back. But if your back is good and healthy, and you can come with me. Well done, release. Lift up that back heel. Rotate the knee so that it points down to the floor. Your heel is up and you're coming down. So hands are inside of the legs or you can drop your knee down to the floor or you're pressing that heel right down towards the floor. And you'll feel that stretch here, you'll probably feel it here on this side. So again, it's all about options and listening to your body, whether you feel that you can take the option of intensity or not to increase it. So if you're feeling like you can, then you'll lift your right arm and take that twist, so we're rotating through the waist and through the spine. Okay, now I just realised I've just started to forget about that back leg. So I'm just reminding you now to make sure you keep pressing that heel towards the floor. Bring that hand down inside the leg and then again you can either stay there or you can go for the slightly less steady option. So with that hand being so close to your support leg, it will just make you a little bit wibbly wobbly probably, if you're anything like me. Keep your breathing through it. So we place the hand down. Now take your right hand outside of the right foot and then press those hips up and back. So 
again we're spreading those fingertips push right into the hands press your heels towards the floor to really stretch again. Okay, well done. So we'll work on a little bit of uh, flexibility now. Um, so we are going to come into the swan pose. So the easiest um, version of this is just to bring yourself to seated position and then just take your hands nice and wide, lower yourself towards the floor. So you just got your foot um, towards the thigh. To increase um, the intensity there, then you will slide your left leg back. Or if it's your right leg that's back, don't worry, it doesn't matter. We're doing both sides anyway. So we keep sliding that back foot as far back as we can. And we keep the hips square on. And then we just lower ourselves down into the floor. So wherever we do any stretching, I just want you to try and just completely relax into your stretch. Try not to fight it, enjoy it. You've worked hard, you deserve this. Okay, so now we're going to change focus. So we're going from here um, to the front on that back leg. So if you can, just grab hold of that back foot. If you can't, just come back to where we were originally. Okay, then you're going to just square the hips forward towards me again, and then bring your heel in towards your bum as much as you can. So that should feel a lovely, lovely stretch down the front of the thigh and that back leg. to release that let it go and then we're going to switch onto the other side so we're sliding the other leg as far back as we can and again we're just relaxing down into the floor just allow your muscles to just melt down towards your mat stretch I could just stay here forever until my stomach starts rumbling anyway all right so we're going to now take hold of that back foot and then just bring the heel in towards you so can you feel that in the front of the thigh into the hip flexor And if you can't manage to get into this position, just go back to the previous one. Okay, release. Let go of that leg. Okay, so we're just going to have a lovely stretch now for the back. So we're going to come down onto our backs. And we're just going to cross 
your right leg over your left leg and then you're going to lower your legs to the left and lower your head to the right then you can take your left hand and just try and take that knee a little closer to the floor you might feel a little maybe a little bit of a crack in the back a bit of release or not Again, just relax into that stretch. Okay, we're going to return to centre. So bringing the knees in again, this time crossing the left leg over the right, taking our knees to the right, taking our head to the left. And then again, you can use your right hand to just try and press your knee towards the floor, keeping the shoulder blades down. Bring your knees in towards you for your release stretch. Okay, then however is the easiest way for you to bring yourself up to sitting position roll yourself onto your side if you need to or just roll up from being on your back so thank you very much for joining me I know it's hard um, in this weather to bring yourself in when you'd rather be in the garden so it's much appreciated um, remember if you do um, want any relaxation included in your session just pop it in the comments below and I'll um, do that for you next time so have a great evening and I'll see you tomorrow at two o'clock I think it's uh, body conditioning tomorrow, uh, not two o'clock, one o'clock. Uh, so I'll see you then. Have a great evening. Thanks, everyone.